Mama party girl, she just wanna f Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hasti Hidayanti With student number 1961210056 I'm student of Islamic Institute of Surakarta Well, in this video I will explain and practice the mini research that I made The topic that I took was a practical way to grow pak choy using hydroponic techniques using induced bottle atau e, cara praktis untuk menanam pak choy menggunakan teknik hidroponik dengan memanfaatkan botol bekas so before i explain what the background is about this mini research i will explain a little about hydroponic Hydroponics is a cultivation of planting by using water without using soil and imposing the ground of nutrition need for plants. The need for water in hydroponic plants is less than the need for water in cultivation using soil media. Hydroponic uses water that is more efficient so It is very suitable to be applied to areas that have a limited water supply. And the background why I chose this topic is it because during a pandemic like this, we spend a lot of time at home. A lot of work is done from home too. Therefore, many people have free time. To spend spare time, one of the useful activities we can do is gardening. This sounds complicated and difficult to do. However, there is one technique that is easy and practical that anyone can do. The technique also does not require a large area or planting media such as a lot of soil. The technique in question is the technique of planting by means of hydroponics. The hydroponic technique that I choose is used some butter. This is this technique unlike other hydroponic techniques that use peeps Therefore, this technique is very environmentally friendly and can increase experience and knowledge about plants. By doing this hydroponic techniques, you can take the advantage of free time in the midst of pandemic. This method can also save material because by producing your own vegetables, The funds that should be spent on buying vegetables can be saved for other needs. Many people still don't know about the benefits from hydroponic. So there are the benefits of hydroponic. Well, hydroponics has many benefits. There are the use of land is more efficient. We can plant hydroponic plants in the backyard on on the terrace of the house. The next benefit is the, that the plants produce without using the soil. Hydroponic techniques use water as a source of a plant nutrition. The next benefit is the quantity and quality of production is higher and cleaner. And the last benefit from hydroponic techniques is the more efficient use of fertilizer and water. For the method, I will explain in the next video and also explain what the tools and materials that we need to carry out. There are the tools and materials required. Differentiate into material A 
and B. The first is a sponge. We also can use rock wool media like this. But because sponge are easier to find, I will use a sponge as a planting media. The second is pak choy seed. Try to choose good pak choy seeds. Next is a screwdriver, or you can also use a soldering iron, like this. But since I didn't have a soldering iron, I use a heated screwdriver. The next tool that we need is scissors. And then atomizer, flannel, and some bottle, and also water first thing that we have to do is make pak choy planting media with material A here the material that we need to have to making a planting media we have a pak choy seed, sponge, tools for spraying, screwdriver and also scissors okay let's get started first cut the sponge to a size 2 cm at all or you can adjust by yourself cut the sponge using a knife after cutting the sponge the sponge will be perforated using a screwdriver this will be a little difficult because the sponge is quite thick okay let's start it be careful at it also do to the other sponge The next step is to sow pak choy seeds into the planting medium that we created earlier. Enter the pak choy seeds into the prepared sponge media. Okay, like this. This is the result. Then, for the source of nutrition, spray water using a spray until the sponge is dumped. Then, let's stand overnight or 24 hours until the pak choy seeds grow. After being left overnight and stored in a dry place, the result will be like this. This is a very small pak choy. The next step is to create a place for the pak choy seedlings to grow using material B. There are the materials that we need to have. There are bottle, water, um, funnel, screwdriver, and the last but not least, scissors. The first step that must be done is to cut the bottle using scissors don't forget to remove the brain first
and then cut the bottle with a scissors. The result will be like this. We can also tidy up the sides of the bottle using scissors. Be carefully because it can hurt your hands. After cutting the bottle, we will give a hole at the top of the bottom side. and also the bottom of the top side of the bottle. We make a hole using a straight jaffer that is heated over a fire. Do it carefully. To make a hole, we can also use a soldering iron. However, because I don't have a soldering iron, so I use a screwdriver only. If you have confused, see the video for more details. We also make a hole in this part. Is it still using a spray dever? So this is the result after we make a hole at the bottle and then the next we will make a hole in the bottle cap for the place of the flannel. To give a hole in the bottle cap we can use a knife but still be careful to use it. After being perforated, we can put half of the flannel into the bottle cap that we have perforated earlier.
after that we can put the water to this part until the ventilator hole Don't forget to do the same with the other bottle You can also cut the bottle with a knife but be carefully with it and tidy up the side of the bottle using a scissors and make a hole also in the side of the bottle after make a hole in the side of bottle we will making a hole also in the bottle cap This part is using a knife, so be carefully at it. The next step is put the flannel into the bottle cap. Well, this is the result of the bottle that we made earlier. Then, we will give water into the bottle with the reference to the air ventilator being the limitation. So this is the result of the bottle to the place of hydroponic. The next is the process of consolidating Pak Choi nursery yields with the hydroponic place. Do it carefully and do the other one. like this after that we set the seed in indirect sunlight and don't get them exposed to the rain after about two days the result will be like this if the water is reduced then we have to add water to keep the nutrition sufficient put the water until the air ventilator 
like this to eat the other bottle Don't forget to control this hydroponic every day. A few days later, we can see that the leaves of the pak choy will look bigger than before. We also can see a root at there. There are some roots through the flannel. This is the result of pak choy hydroponic plants using bottles. This hydroponic is done with indirect sunlight and in protected from rain. As you can see in the first bottle that the roots are very long through the funnels that source down. The other one also been seen that the roots have appeared like this. However, because the hydroponics is stored outdoors, there are annoying pits, namely grasshoppers. There are six leaves, but some of the leaves are eaten by the grasshoppers so that the leaves are less than perfect. To treat hydroponics, we also have to replace the water if the water in the hydroponics is cloudy. We can replace the water like this. So, this is the end result of planting pak choy hydroponic techniques using bottles. Hope you can enjoy it. So, there are the methods, tools, and materials that I have explained in previous video. From 
my explanation and my practice about the, this technique, we can conclude that hydroponic planting techniques are plant planting techniques that are very popular with many people because of their practical and easy techniques. As explained in the video, the hydroponic techniques are very easy to do wherever people are. After doing this mini research that I have done before, the results show that the hydroponic techniques plant using the bottles can also be carried out and successful. That's all about my explanation and practice how to make Pak Chai hydroponic used bottle. I hope with my previous video, you can take the advantages or you can learn something new from it. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you have a great day and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.